I think containers um, are part of uh, the the entire kind of stack uh, of technology that's being deployed uh, in order to uh, develop uh, and ship software uh, more quickly, right? And and the fundamental reasons for that um, haven't changed, but they've uh, been greatly accelerated by um, the the, uh, the impact of uh, the pandemic, right? And so uh, I think for for the past few years uh, we've been talking about how um, you know, software is eating the world, how it's become more and more important uh, that, that companies go through the transformation uh, to be more, more digital, right? Um, and, and I think now uh, that is so patently obvious to everybody, right? When your only way of accessing your customer uh, and for the customer to access your, uh, your services is through a digital medium, right? Uh, the ability for um, your IT and dev uh, and DevOps teams to be able to deliver against uh, those requirements uh, to deliver that flawless customer experience, um, to to sort of you know keep pace with the, the digital transformation and, and the cloud initiatives, right? Um, all of that is kind of coming um, as as one uh, one big wave. Um, and so you know we see a lot of uh, organizations migrating uh, workloads to the cloud, refactoring uh, applications, um, you know building new applications natively. And so when they do that, uh, oftentimes the uh, uh, infrastructure of choice uh, is containers, right? Because it's the thing. Um, uh, that keeps up with the, the pace of the development. Um, it's uh, it's a much more uh, efficient use of underlying resources. It's uh, uh, you know so it's all it's all kind of uh, you know part of the overall uh, movement uh, that that we see.